In this video, we are gonna show you some unconventional uses for the pool noodle ah. when it comes to your RV and RV living. Stay tuned. This is gonna be a super fun video, but also super informative. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. My name is Charity and five years ago we embarked on this journey called RV Life to explore the U.S. We created this channel a few years in because really we wanted to be able to share with some of you our experiences but moreover share the things that we had burning questions about that we needed information about. So that's what you're going to find here on this channel. Great places to go, great food to eat, fails so you know what not to do and great organization hacks and tips. So hit that subscribe button if that sounds like something you're interested in so you can get notified when we release a new video each and every week. Now, this video, we are gonna talk about some fun uses for these fun pool noodles. Now, if you've watched our channel for any length of time, you know I am a Dollar Tree nut. So Dollar Tree right here, for RV life, let's go ahead and get started with our first hack. All right, so hack number one, and you've probably seen this around the campground if you have been RVing for any length of time, that is pool noodles on the edge of the slides. Now, let me tell you how many times that I have caught myself on these sharp corners of an RV slide. Definitely not fun. So once that you're set up using these bad boys on these sharp corner edges of the slide, now this is super important if you have maybe a bedroom slide that is coming out that's like right at head level by the time that you level your RV out, definitely wanna cover those bad boys, save your noggin. Once that you've cut these down the middle, you can stick it right onto your slides. Now, depending upon the slide like ours, there's a seal on the other side like this, so putting it kind of over the seal gives it more security, but this way you are not gonna hit that sharp corner. Hack number two, if you have a drivable RV or even if you are just driving your truck, is to actually put some pool noodles over the wiper blades when you are parked for an extended period of time. Now this helps protect those wiper blades from the sun, from environmental factors that can cause them to get brittle and dry quickly. Just one more way you can protect your investment and safe driving using a pool noodle. So another use for pool noodles is you can actually put them on a storage compartment door to prop it open. Now, why would you need to prop open a storage compartment door, you might ask? Well, I will tell you, in our particular RV, our inverter sits in one of the basement compartment bays and it can get pretty hot. And when it gets hot, it is not as efficient. So we like to prop that open so there's some airflow underneath there. But this also works really well if you have an interior door in your RV, maybe say a bedroom door, you've got littles, you don't want fingers getting pinched. Any door that you just need propped open so that it doesn't latch shut, pool noodle. We got a purple. Oh, you got some longer ones first, that don't you? The next hack for pool noodles and RV living is to take a pool noodle, cut it and place it over a coat hanger. Now I cannot tell you how many times on travel days that I've opened our closet to find all of the clothes on the floor or clothes that has slipped off of the hanger during travel days, especially if you do have like a tank top or something. So this is perfect. Put your clothes on this, hang it up in your closet and you don't have your clothes slipping off the end of the hanger. Genius! So the next hack on the list is actually using pool noodles as cushioning in bunk areas. Now we have these bunks that we built ourselves, but a lot of like RVs that have a bunkhouse have some sort of ladder to get it in the bunkhouse. So whether it's a ladder that you move during travel days or whether it's a ladder that's just kind of like permanently affixed like this is. Honestly, like when you step on these with bare feet, it's not the most comfortable thing. And so you could take a pool noodle, cut it in half and use these halves as cushions for the step areas on things like ladders to get in bunk areas. Also for our kids with this particular bunk area, the wood at the head of the bed can be slightly uncomfortable if you don't get your pillow right up there. You can also use a pool noodle is cushioning over any types of railings as well. So there you go, 
pool noodle hack. Another great RV hack we have found is the entire lineup of products from Unique Camping and Marine, which is the sponsor of today's video. Now, we've personally been using all of the products for Unique for well over a year and a half now, and we love that they help to keep our waste tanks not only clog free, but since we started using the waste tank treatments, we've had zero issues with our tank sensors reading incorrectly. One of our favorite products is the drop-in pods, which not only help to digest any solids, now think toilet paper here, just so none of us gets a visual we don't want, but to help keep those black tank smells away. And since we do want this channel to be a trusted resource for the RV community, we have partnered with Unique Camping and Marine for a discount for our viewers, so you can save 15% on the entire lineup of products from Unique at gratefulglamper.com forward slash unique, or click the link in the description box below. Now back to the video. The next pack for pool noodles in an RV is you take a pool noodle and you cut it completely in half this time instead of just down one side. Now, a little funny story actually, one of our kiddos lost their phone. So who would know that while you're driving that your kid's phone would slide off the dinette table, slide across the RV and under the slide. Do you have it? It was no easy feat to try to fish it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. So any little toys, marbles, just anything small that can get under a slide, that can be a real floor damage potential when you go to bring in this slide and there is something stuck underneath here that you did not know was there. Using a pool noodle just cut in half like that takes care of any gaps like this in the flooring, especially if you have littles or even like dog food, cat food, stuff like that. Just keeps things more clean. You will have to pull this off before you pull your slide in and then just reinstall it the next time you set up. So the next pool noodle hack is if you have very tall people. Now, we actually had this, our very first RV. We were giving somebody a tour that was much taller than us and there was a low hanging area like this in a doorway and they hit their head and I felt so horrible. If you have tall people in your family, putting a pool noodle like this in some of these lower overhanging areas helps to just create a little cushioning for the noggin. So the next hack is actually something that has been born of necessity. And that is we have like this little kind of island thing in our RV. Now I know a lot of you that have fifth wheels and things like that too have some type of an island. And when you have a lot of people in a smaller space, well, you tend to end up bumping hips and things like that into island areas that are sticking out. So using a pool noodle against the corners can provide just a little bit of cushioning if you're ending up with bruised hips. So pool noodle hack for RV living, there you go. Whoa, my God. That's just B-roll. It's just B-roll. All right. Did you, did you? Okay, this is where I feel like I feel, I'm like looking novice. Stop it. Will you stop it? It's not funny. It's like these are like nunchucks. All right, enough, enough. So you'll have to let us know which hack was your favorite in the comments below. I'm gonna put a video right up here on Dollar Tree organizing. Get organized with the Dollar Tree in your RV. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.